Hello techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to monitor the power automate desktop flows. Before that, we will learn why we need to monitor desktop flows. If you see on my screen, in the power automate desktop, we have created some flows that is LinkedIn, Facebook, and test out the desktop flows which I have created. Now, we need to ensure that all our desktop flows are running as expected by monitoring desktop flows. Let us assume, if you see in our previous tutorial, I have scheduled this LinkedIn flow by using Power Automate, right? I need to ensure that all our desktop flows which have been scheduled or which we have run manually, such as unattended, in that cases, I need to ensure that all my desktop flows are running as expected. How can we know that all the flows are running successfully? In that case, we will monitor all our desktops. By monitoring all our desktop flows runs from one location to keep our automation running smoothly. But over here, if you observe, I don't have an option in the Power Automate desktop to know that my desktop flows are working as expected or not. To know that, we'll switch to flow.microsoft.com. And then if you observe, all these desktop flows which I have shown you will be appear in my flows under desktop flows. There you can see what are the flows we have created. All the flows are available under the desktop flows. Now, I need to monitor all these flows which has been scheduled or which has been run manually. In that case, we'll go for the monitor tab on the left hand side and there you can see desktop flows run. Let's click on that. These desktop flows runs will give the information available on our runs. If you see over here that I have executed the flows, some of the flows have been executed by scheduling, some of the flows have been executed manually. In that case, if you see over here, I can see the desktop flows over here as LinkedIn and you can see some of the flows are test, all right? You can see the status over here as succeeded and failed over here. And you can see the run start, when it has been started and what is the status about that. And you can see the mode over here, it is as attended or unattended and in which machine the desktop flow has been executed and you can see the parent flow also over here. Now, these are all the information you can get it. Let me explain one by one. First column is the requested one. This is the time in which the desktop flow was requested by the parent flow. This may not be the same as the time when the desktop flow started on the machine. Now, second one, desktop flow. This is the name of the desktop flow which was running. And the third column, or the information related to the status, the status of the particular desktop flow run. All right. And if you see the run mode over here, I am having attended and unattended. This will give the mode of the information of the desktop flow was run. And then if you see the duration over here, how much time it has been run. And you can see with this run start over here. All right. Now, if you see the parent flow, this is the cloud flow that's triggered the desktop flow over here. Now, if you see these flows, that is LinkedIn desktop flow has been triggered from the LinkedIn jobs. This is the cloud flow, right? But if you observe the test over here, I don't have any parent for this one. In a such a way, this test has not run from the cloud flows. That's the reason the parent flow I have given as blank. All right. Now, if you want to customize the view, in that cases, you can narrate the views over here. If you want to give the status only as succeeded, in that case, you can go for the customizing your views. Now, I'm going to select the status as filtered by. And then you can see over here, I'm going to give it only succeeded one. And I'm going to click on apply. Now, this view will give only the desktop flows which has been succeeded. All right. Now, if you have any flows which has been queued in that case, what you will do, you will just go into select queued also, and then you are going to click on apply. Now, if you see, there are no flows out there which are there in the queued. All right. I hope you understand how to monitor the desktop flows by using Power Automate as part of this tutorial. 
Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.